Hello everyone, my name is Free Darkness, and I'll be posting a commentary in response to Modern Warfare 3 finally being confirmed. Uh, yes, we've had speculation and finally this has been confirmed to be coming a week. And uh, today I'm just bringing you some PM63 gameplay. It's, uh, I believe, 34 and 2 and I do kind of play the objective. Uh, so I hope you guys enjoy. And, I mean, I use this class just because it's a good rushing class, even though I really don't use it with the CCP, just because hip firing with the CCP isn't really all too great. Uh, I mean, combined with, compared to the Wii remote, I mean, it's just, just off. But, uh, again, I hope you guys enjoy the gameplay and the commentary, and feel free to leave a like whenever, if ever you feel like, even a dislike, it, it's all appreciated, because it lets me see how active you guys really are. And, uh... Just to begin, now that we finally got Monorca to be confirmed, what do we want to see in it? I mean, we've seen that Modern Warfare, or uh, the Call of Duty series in general, has been improving on Wii since World at War. COD 4 had a major improvement from World at War. It was actually pretty supported. We got glitches patched, and uh, unfortunately, some of the earlier glitches that got patched turned into elevator glitches, which uh, were unfortunate, but I mean... They did later end up patching up Elevator, which was actually pretty interesting because they didn't patch any other Elevator except the only one which would was completely useless. I mean, it was the overgrown Elevator. You use that, you're in the open. You only go up, like, what, 10 feet? But, I mean, to, to, uh, to Call of Duty, having a 10-foot advantage over an enemy is just a, comp a complete bullcrap glitch. I mean... I mean, the ones where you go underground, yeah, those are fine, just ignore those. Or the ones that get you up a building, ignore those, those are fine. But the ones that get you 10 feet up in the air, and you're just floating there, you can get shot across the map, or anywhere from the map. No, you gotta pass those, because those are the game ruiners. But, uh, this is just some of my humor right there, because, uh, I mean, they really normally do patch useless glitches instead of the actual ones that are in ge generally just ruining the game. And I hope the start doing something about that in the slider games and yes they have been pretty well with the patches on black ops but i mean did kind of get ripped off with the map packs and i mean to be honest they did advertise map packs on this game and the fact that we never got them is kind of a rip off but i uh, i hope nintendo and treyarch resolve that in the future because i really do want to see map packs or at least try to enable some kind of in-game or world editor so you can make our own map packs just like uh, Halo, and I understand that it may not have it may not have the ram cap ram capabilities, such as the Xbox or PS3 or PC for that matter. And uh, that is unfortunate for those of you who keep wanting to get an update, and then on the next game that'll have kill cams or uh, the theater mode for that matter. Uh, I'm sad to say this, guys, but uh, doesn't look like that'll ever happen on Wii. The rain keep the rain. I don't know why I say that in the like accent, but uh, yeah, the ram capabilities are just are just weak. They can't handle kill cams. They can't handle just the ram that it takes to find out who did what to show you. And uh, as well as that, it just can't work out for theater because I mean that just takes a shitload of ram. And even Black Ops, it, it, it's such a ram for I'm not sure how smooth it runs on 360, but on PS3, it freezes my PS3 like three or four times when I'm playing it and on Wii well as you know it is known as a Wii killer and it did kill my Wii so let's just hope they actually poured up Black Ops pretty well this time Treyarch pointing finger at you and I hope you fired Josh Olin I don't know if you really did in fact fire him but uh he tried to ruin the only thing that kept selling your games because I mean sniping really how many montages do you see that aren't sniping that's the majority that's what gets this game out there that's what gets people pumped that's what gets people wanting to go in game try to do it fail be sad and go on with their day i mean i do that and sometimes i fail sometimes i succeed but i just try and try again and uh yeah i mean it gets me into the game and i like seeing that so please don't fuck up sniping and i know you do confirmed tomorrow for, i mean quick scoping and obviously this is not Josh Holland speaking because Josh Holland is from Treyarch and this is developed by Infinity Ward, but the Wii version oh, is in fact developed by Treyarch. So let's just hope it is actually well. I mean, and I really do hope that the graphics are as good as COD 4. I mean, we can all see a clear difference in graphics between COD 4 and Black Ops. I mean, the Black Ops graphics, just on Wii mainly, the, the Black Ops graphics look like shit compared to 
reflex. I mean, when you look far, you can't. You just see fucking fog. Like if you're playing Minecraft, you can't see shit. It's just not there. You get closer, then you can see it. I mean, that, that's in reflex too, but I mean, it's not as noticeable as it is in Black Ops, if you know what I mean. It's just you can't. I mean, summit. If you get in a little car, you can't see the door. That's like what three yards away, two yards away. I, mean, I, don't, I don't know how the hell that is limitation. It's just crappy porting on a Treyarch Spart S2, but uh, among that, I just really want to see more multiplayer support, and uh, even though I really don't believe it'll be getting the much support that we want, such as PS3 or 360 versions, I mean, the PS3 60 version, you can pretty much, I mean, we can't, we don't have multiplayer pro mod uh, matches, but we do, in fact, have the ability, the capabilities, to set up private matches with pro mod like adjustments we can just change the adjustments and everything we can change the speed of perks and the, just everything pretty much every single aspect of the perks and the game and the guns and the equipment and everything except the maps of course but we can change a lot in private matches on PS3 and 360 and on Wii we cannot do that and, and that is unfortunate because I would like to see that kind of action on Wii so I hope Treyarch does in fact implement that on the Wii version for the next game because it does make the game a bit funner and it I mean the custom classes and everything to be able to work it's really cool and as of that I really hope they do not add invisible barriers over every little desk and chair they put in the map because I don't, I don't know if they think a two foot advantage over your enemy is, is like a real big glitch that should be patched. I mean, unless you're playing Smurfs, I don't really think that's a big problem. So I really hope they start, they stop spamming invisible barriers everywhere. And uh, I really do hope they keep multiplayer pretty open and supported. And honestly, I mean, if they can kick and ban hackers from Mario Kart Wii, why can't they do it off Black Ops? I mean, come on, please. Just Sega and the Conduit, they formed kind of a pact with Nintendo and started banning people eventually in conduit one i'm not sure about conduit two but i'm sure you can do it for black ops i mean i mean for modern warfare three for the next cod generations because i mean cod is the most i i would believe it sells more than the conduit so i hope to see it be well supported by nintendo as well as treyarch so treyarch please i mean after all the advertisement Nintendo has been getting from other big gamers in the community from Machinima. I hope Treyarch and Nintendo finally realizes this game is going to get big and on the Wii and on this console. It needs to be supported. So I hope you guys enjoyed. This has been Free Darkness.